Hey guys, welcome back. Now continuing in our learning journey of hands-on machine learning book series, we are going to start with a chapter two where we'll be implementing the hands-on machine learning project, which is an end-to-end -end machine learning project. Now, in order to follow along with me easily, so there are some prerequisites. The first and the foremost, if you want the source code, which I'll be working in the sessions, so please make sure that you download the source code from the website and you can upload it with your Google Collab interface so that you can get started. Now to come over to this page, go to the URL manifoldlearning.in. From here, click on the courses. Under it, you'll be able to see this hands-on machine learning book series. Please click on the same. And once you click the same, you have the option to register. Please register in this website and you'll be able to get the access to the source code which i'll be working in this session and please don't worry it's free and apart from that there are some prerequisites now when i say prerequisites these prerequisites are something related to skill set guys see this book series is about implementing the machine learning now in order for you to able to implement it efficiently you need to have a knowledge about python that is source code will be in python programming language that means you should be comfortable in working with core python so core python is mandatory now along with this core python you also require to understand as how to work with numpy array object and then matplotlib object that means creating the figures and the plots with matplotlib library and also working with pandas data frame so in total we call these three things like core python numpy matplotlib and pandas all these things combined we are going to call it as python for data science okay so this is called as python for data science and if you are very new and if you are not sure how to get started with the python for data science don't worry guys we have a course in our website so courses over here just click on courses there's a course that's called as python for data science so and this covers the essentials for you to get started with python data science journey so just click on register so just click on this free so you'll be able to ask to sign up so once you sign up you'll be getting the access to this uh, various videos that we have created for the concept of python for data science now in case if something is not clear and if you still more need any help do let us know we'll do our best to help you over here in your learning journey okay now apart from this we also have the playlist that we have in our youtube channel so there's a playlist on pandas for data science which i highly recommend you to follow along now apart from that there's a numpy mastery series which is beginner to advanced so which is highly recommended and then data science machine learning with python full course so these these three are the ones which i highly recommend for you to get started so that you can follow along with us in this machine learning journey okay now coming back over here now here as i mentioned already we are going to perform an end-to-end -end. yes it's an end-to-end -end machine learning project now here to get started in the first cell i'm importing my necessary libraries I'm importing my scalar. So this is the common library that we'll be using if I want to import any machine learning model. So all the machine learning model are present in this scalar. And as a first step, we are importing this scalar library. Now, after that, there is a small check. Now, this small check is to make sure that the scalar version that you're running in the current system, which matches the current version or the minimum expected version of this project. So this is that statement which checks whether the sklearn library, the version that is running in a local system, whether is it matching the minimum requirement. Okay, now once it's done, I'm also importing my NumPy library. So as I mentioned already, NumPy library, we'll be using it to work with NumPy array objects. I'm importing my OS library. This is to, this is to help me in creation of folders and files. And along with that, I'm importing my matplotlib library. And we use this matplotlib library for creation of plots. And we are also importing the Seaborn library just in case if I want to create some plots using Seaborn library as well. So Seaborn and matplotlib helps me in performing the visualization of data. 
and NumPy library helps me to work with array data. And after that, I'm just setting some constraint for this notebook. So the constant that I'm calling it over here as uh, project root directory. So I'm setting the root directory as my current working directory. Here, this constant is going to set as where exactly that I have to save my individual images. And then this is going to create the images. And this is just a constant function which will help me in saving the figure. Okay. So if these things are confusing to you, don't worry. So as you start seeing more and more code like this, it will become more easier for you to follow along and understand as why it is being used. Now, in order to work with the Python code and to perform this end-to-end -end machine learning project, throughout this course, I'll be making use of this Google Colab. So Google Colab is the interface that we'll be using to write the machine learning code in this entire learning journey. Now, what is this Google Colab? Now, this Google Colab is a free uh, IPython, note IPython notebook interface that has been provided to us by Google. The URL is collab.research.google.com. Now, if you go over here, so you'll be able to see what are the information that we have about this Google Collaboratory. So, Collaboratory or Collab is a short which will allow us to write and execute Python in the browser, which means we don't have to worry about complex installation steps in our local system. We can just fire up our browser, go to this URL and start working directly. And the best part is we are also going to get the access to the GPU, which we'll be requiring if you are working with any deep learning task as well. And uh, another best thing is it will, be, it will be easier for us to share as well. Now, if I want to share something to you, I'll be sharing this Google Collaboratory link to you so that every time I update something in this notebook, the same changes will be visible to you as well if you just click on that link. Okay, now to get started, what you will be doing is, uh, first you'll be using the same link and if you want to create your own notebook, go to File and click on New Notebook. And once you click on this new notebook, so this is going to start the new IPython notebook session for you. And through this IPython notebook session, you can start writing the code. Now to test whether it's working as expected, you can just say it as print hello world. And then you can verify whether it's working correctly or not. Okay, now if you're very new to Google Collab and you're not sure as how to proceed with Google Collab and how to create a notebook, there's a video that we have on our platform that is on our YouTube channel, which is called as how to use Google Collab for deep learning, machine learning and data science. I highly recommend you to watch this video so that you'll get more understanding about as how Google can, how Google Collab can be used and how you can actually create your account and what are the basic common steps that we'll be doing over here and how to create a notebook, how to upload the notebook and what are the various parts that you will be seeing in the Google Collab interface. So all these are explained in detail in this video. So I'll be sharing the link in the description. Please make sure you check it out so that you'll be comfortable while performing the hands-on in this chapter. Okay. So we have taken care of necessary imports and we now have the system ready. So we have the, so you now have the information as how to download the source code. You now have the information about the prerequisite and you now know about the interface that I'll be using in this chapter too. So what I want you to do now before you move along with me. So first get comfortable in working with this Google Collab interface. Create your account with the website manifoldalearning.in and make sure you register in this course hands-on machine learning book series just make sure you register over here i'll be uploading my source code in your lms that is learning management system and if you are new to python and if you are new to data science or anything please make sure you check out the playlist which i suggested earlier and i'll be sharing both the links that means i'll be sharing all those links in the description as well so that you can use it as a reference and you'll be ready before i start this hands-on machine learning project Okay, so please be prepared and we'll be starting in another three days. Okay, so the next video upload of this hands-on machine learning uh, chapter will be in three days. So we'll be starting a machine learning journey. All the best guys. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you 
next time. So please get your system ready and we'll get started.